Hi everyone, it's Sarah here from Inky Doodles. Uh, I've got a couple of new stamp releases. Uh, the background stamps this time. We haven't done a huge amount of sort of ready-made backgrounds if you like. But I'm going to show you some interesting things that we can do with these two. The first one is um, it's a medieval sort of effect, very filigree design. And it's actually called medieval background. So that's the first. The second one is one that I've been wanting to do for a long time really. It's a, a script background. Um, it's very, very small, um, stylized script, so you can't actually read what it says. It is a piece of poetry, so there's nothing naughty in there, um, if you can actually manage to read it. And that one is called Script Background. Please excuse the state of my hands, they're very inky. Um, and the other one is our old favourite Argyle. I'm going to use this one in combination with the other two to come up with some hopefully interesting effects. So let's get started. I'm going to start off with um, just a piece of smooth white card. This is four and a half by four and a half inches, but it doesn't matter. You can do it bigger and cut it down. So I'm inking up the, the large diamond stamp from the Argyle set. And I'm just using um, Tim Holt's Distress in Antique Linen. So we'll pop that to one side. And this is the um, the medieval background. As you can see, it's a very, very delicate design. And I'm inking this one up with um, Memento in nautical blue. I love this colour. Really nice, dark, rich blue. If you've watched some of our other videos, you'll have seen me do a similar technique before. It's called kiss stamping. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to get the pattern from the medieval background onto the diamonds of the Argyle stamp. So you just place it on, give it a, a firm press all over. You'd expect it to slip, but it doesn't actually. The sort of the two lots of polymer cling quite well. Peel it off. When I'm starting with a square, I usually like to start in the middle so that I can try and get it all symmetrical. If we go like that. And you can actually see that design there coming through. Just give it a nice firm press all over. Now what you want to do before you go back in and re-ink, you want to remove some of that pattern. So just try stamping off onto a piece of scrap. back in with the antique linen. Now to save me re-inking the large stamp I'm just going to take the ink from the other side of it. So we do exactly the same again, give it a good press all over and we just line that up, I'm trying not to get my head underneath the camera. <laughs> There we go. We'll rub off the excess again. And re ink. Now, this time I am going to have to re ink the background because I've used up all that's on there now. And place it on. And you can do this with any any solid stamps, any sort of silhouette stamps and patterned backgrounds. To make a really interesting effect. There we go. Now just to add even more interest, I'm going to go in and I'm going to use the script stamp over the top of it all. I mean it's lovely as it is and you could just add distress ink around the edges but I just want, I want more. I'm into the idea of sort of layering up designs on top of each other at the moment. Move that bit of thread from my stump. And it makes it slightly more interesting if you stamp your script at an angle as well rather than just going in straight. It's so hot today my glasses keep sliding down my nose. And all of these stamps are designed to be fully repeatable, so the pattern will match up exactly. Which 
means that you can create a background of any size that you want to. Now I'm just going to turn this because I find it easy when I'm trying to line it up. But there we go. You get the idea. And as usual, I'm just going to add a little bit of um, distressing around the edges. I've actually got vintage photo this time as opposed to my usual tea dye. So there we go. I don't know how well you can actually see that. I think that makes a great a great background. Now I'm just going to um, use another one of our old favourites, which is the Flutterby set, which I don't think I've got to hand actually. Oh, let's see we go. Excuse me. That's the Flutterby set. I'm sure you've all seen it before. Anyway, I'm going to use the small butterfly from it and do a very, very similar technique. I'm inking it up with antique linen. And this time I'm going to put the script stamp over the top of that using the nautical blue. See, I'm trying to keep all the colours very tight here, keep them all quite similar. You can either go that way or you can put the, the larger stamp onto the smaller one it really doesn't matter too much and again I'm putting the butterfly on at an angle just to add a little bit more interest there we go so you can see see how that one works out and the other thing that I need to put this card together is just a plain script which will be quite good because you haven't actually seen this one on its own yet. So we'll rub off that blue that we had on there. And we'll just go in with Vintage Photo again. We're going straight across this time just as... Uh, something a bit different. If they're all angled it just starts to look a bit contrived really. There we go. Now rather than you watch me stick all this together, I'll just give you a, a rough idea of what I did. I actually cut out the butterfly and laid it up on top. But I've got a finished card here to show you exactly what I did do. So there you go. As you can see I've inked around all the edges in the same way that I usually do, only with um, vintage photo. And I think that makes a really quick and easy card, but it looks like you've spent ages on it. So that's the two new backgrounds. I've also got another card that I made yesterday using um, the script background again, but this time it's got the um, floral circles, which is another old favorite, sort of on the tag here and in the background, that's the floral circles. And the flower has been stamped up again, uh, just cut out with um, a Tim Holtz die and, and made up. So I think they're really, really great cards and hopefully you'll like our new sets.